Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a really easy way to replace a sky using Photoshop. We're going to change this image into this image. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a sky in Photoshop really easily. I'm giving you the files for this so you can also practice yourself. Let's jump straight into Photoshop so I can show you what we're going to do. So here is the final image. This is what we're going to create and we're going to create them using two exposures one of a dark exposure and one of a normal exposure. So I'll just explain to you basically how I took these pictures. Uh, they were taken on the aperture priority setting on my camera, the ISO was on 100, and if you just do that, you set your camera to that, take a picture, this was the image that I got. Now, the camera, the camera's light meter, is not balancing it correctly. It's got the, it's got the foreground okay, the foreground's balanced okay, but the, but the sky is really quite bright. So what I did, I was on a tripod so I could take another exposure really quickly afterwards that was darker, and here it is here. And for that one, you just set your shutter speed a bit quicker, and that darker exposure will give you this nice dark sky. Now when you've got them two pictures and you've got a nice fairly straight horizon line like that, it's really easy to replace the sky. I'm going to show you how. Firstly, what you want to do is get select the move tool, which is over here in your tools palette, select the move tool, click and hold on your dark image, drag up to the tab of your light image and it will appear like that. Keep hold of your image, bring it down and release. And then you're gonna have the dark image on top of the light image. Now because they're exactly the same size, they will clip into place like this. If it's not snapping into place like that, then you just go to view and you go down to snap make sure that that tick is clicked and then you'll have no problems it will just clip straight into place like that and over in your layers palette over here if i click the eye symbol i can hide that layer and underneath is the exact same picture but a lighter version okay when you've done that make sure you've got layer one selected and you're going to add a black layer mask and to do that you hold down the alt key and down the bottom here you click your layer mask icon like that and it adds a black layer mask and a black layer mask will make your image here invisible and to make it visible again you paint white on it and uh, we can do a whole tutorial on masks another time but that's just it in a nutshell so Select the gradient tool. Make sure that down the bottom here you are on black and white. And to make sure that you're on that, you just click this symbol here. So click on that symbol and it goes black and white. And you want it to be going from white to black. There, white at the top foreground, black as your background. Up the top here in your options bar, you click this arrow and you make sure that this one here is selected. So it looks like it's going from white to black. So make sure that that is all selected before you use this tool. Okay, now then if I show you basically what it does, because make sure obviously you're working on the mask, hold down the shift key and click and drag down like this and release. Now what you can see here is it's given you a nice graduation of white to black. Now what that means is it's giving you a nice graduation of visible to not visible, which is down the bottom. Now we don't want it to graduate that much. We just want it to graduate here to give you a nice soft graduation on the horizon line. So to do that, you hold down the shift key and you just click and drag over here like that. And you can keep experimenting, that was quite good actually, but you can keep experimenting 
to get it roughly how you want it to be. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking roughly like that is quite nice. Look at that, that's really nice. And then if you want to tidy areas up, you make sure you're on your mask there. Remember black will make things um, visible underneath. So over here, click the icon, go back to black, choose your brush tool, make sure your opacity is really quite low. I'm gonna go around about 20%. Right click and make sure your hardness is on zero. Bring that down like that, press the return key or enter. And then you can just paint in areas that you want to be just a little bit more visible. And you can see that there, it's just bringing it back out for me. And you can tidy that up a little bit more later. It's up to you, make that nice. Now the other thing you can see is, when you underexpose an image like this top one here, it can go a little bit gray. But I can tell you now, it's much better to take an underexposed picture than it is to burn in the original image. So always, when you can, take an underexposed picture rather than burning in or just making it darker in Photoshop. Um, it's, ju it's just much more, you get much more deeper colors. But you can see that it's a little bit gray. So what I'm gonna add is a curves adjustment layer and I'm gonna apply it just to this top layer here. Down the bottom here, you've got your adjustment layer icon. Click on that, go to curves. I want to apply this curves adjustment layer only to this layer underneath, not to the whole thing. I'll just experiment, I'll just show you that. I mean, if I go like that and go like that, you can see it's applying it to the whole picture. Now we don't want that to happen. I just want it to happen to the to the sky, if you like, this layer here. So right click and you go to create clipping mask. And now it's only going to affect the sky. Watch this. So now I'm only affecting the sky and not the layer below. Now I want to just increase the contrast. So I'm going to bring the brights up like that. And I'm going to bring that down to around about there. And what you can see, look at the clouds. The clouds are staying nice and bright and it's getting rid of that kind of grayy, grayy cast. So if I bring that up a bit more like that, that's quite nice, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, okay, that's brilliant. Close that down like that. Just quickly show you the before and after. That's the original shot, and that's with the sky replaced. Easy as that. Don't forget, I've given you these files so you can practice with them. The, it's in the description below. There's a link in the description below. You can click on it and you can access these files and practice with yourself. I hope you've liked this tutorial. If you have, click the thumbs up below, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.